All right, guys. I believe this is uh, really important to to me. I just want to document this moment and share with people who might have similar experience. I've literally sit here for more than two hours. I could say this entire morning. So let me show you guys. It's 9.56 in the morning. So I got up and left my home around 5.15. I went for walk slash run. I run just a little bit, but I walked the most of the time. And after I got back, I actually had a breakfast um, just at the gate of my community. Um, and after I got back, I didn't even shower. I just light on my yoga mat. I was gonna I just felt like to sit on my yoga mat, but nowhere else, because I just felt like so. I feel exhausted. I feel tired. But you know what? Instead, I was just consuming contents on my phone. I was just watching, watching endless Instagram post and YouTube and you know, Billy Billy. Um, yeah, and I just felt so bad about myself because I've been just wasting time. I know there's no point to like waste time. I got stuff I need to work on. I got two videos that I have to edit, and I'm uploading tomorrow. Still, I just really haven't started and. I was gonna like I even took out this plastic bag I was gonna like take some stuff I want to go to the swimming pool I just want to you know soak myself into the water because I just I don't feel right sitting here and I don't know what else I can do to help myself feel a little better I just don't feel like to work you know this is just so authentic this is part of my life and I asked myself what do I really want I don't know what I want like I couldn't really come up with something that I want to do really bad that I just will propel myself to do and I would just draw myself in social media and videos that is completely irrelevant to my life to just get distracted to waste time so I don't have to sit here and drowning in my thoughts because thoughts are kind of bothering me right um, and I just thought about leaving the home but I didn't even brush my teeth this morning I didn't wash myself I mean, I didn't really sweat this morning, and yeah, I just feel like shit, but listen, this is real life, this is my real life, I'm willing to share this with you because I believe this will help a lot of people to feel better, you have to know that you are not alone, if you feel bad about yourself, and to me, I feel the real problem is I don't really have any social life. The only friend I do meet every day is my friend working out together, my workout homie. But we only meet at the gym. We don't really hang out anywhere else. And he's busy during the day. So... Why do I share this with you? Because this is my real life. And I just always want to make this point that if you want to improve, if you want to get some stuff done, you have to learn to be alone. Because if you're with your friends and you just get so much distraction, not just mentally, but on a time wise, you have to accommodate for each other. Like, if you guys go out for dinner or lunch, 
I mean that is nice activity, but sometimes it just takes so much time. When I was in college, like at first, when I just went to United States, I didn't feel comfortable sometimes to just sit alone in the restaurant. So I just always want to go out with friends. Otherwise, I'll just get food to go and eat in my dorm room. But after some time I realized it is okay to just be alone and I have to learn how to be alone if I can't be alone then I can never get something major done because a lot of major things take so much concentration and just a long time like recording this video I cannot have anybody around me but I mean it doesn't matter if someone is around but editing videos, writing a script, or you know, writing an essay, writing a paper, or finishing some homework, or do some reading, you just don't want any kind of a distraction. You can, like, to me, I can be in the public, no problem, I can focus. But if I do have some friends around, then I can't. I would spend the time talking because I love talking to friends. But the thing is, Talking to friends, it's not going to help me to finish my videos. It's not going to help me to finish my homework, right? When I was in college, I always go to the library. I always went to the library with friends. And we ended up just, you know, talking to each other and just walking around, going to a cafe and smoking a cigarettes. And we just was not productive. But... To me, I'm on the extreme side. I don't have any social life besides working out at the gym. I don't have any friends to hang out. I don't have, yeah, I don't have any social activities. I couldn't even come up with an idea that what can I do? I don't even know. I'm not like gonna talk. Here's the deal. I've already made up my mind. I'm not gonna date anyone short in a short time i'm not going to be having any kind of romantic relationship with any girl i why do i do that this is a commitment i want to dedicate all my time and energy into building something meaningful and spending more time with quality time with more family with my family more i have tried it you know when I really was someone in a relationship, it just takes so much time and it takes so much mental capacity. And when I'm really just at home, I don't have any like energy for my family. I don't have time to just sit with my family for dinner because I always got to go out with girlfriend to have dinner somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, somebody might think, oh, you can find the balance. No, it's hard. In a romantic relationship, it is just so hard. And, yeah, it's just not for me. So, I just decided to completely stay single. <laughs> Seriously. I, I don't know if this really makes a lot of sense to you, but it makes a whole lot of sense to me. I'm just here to explain why do I not have any kind of social life or any kind of like relationship, right? This is the sacrifice I have to make. I'm willing to pay this price to be alone. But yeah, I do have days like this. I do have moments like this. I don't want to do anything but just hang out with a friend. Maybe I want to call a friend through WeChat, but it's different. It's totally different when you're just physically with a friend. It's just so much different. You guys can do so much more. But if you like talk on the phone, it is good. But most of the time you just can't. Yeah, it's different. Anyway, I'm just trying to be vulnerable because... I'm not trying to be vulnerable. I am vulnerable. This is one of the 
vulnerability humans all have because we are social animal. We want to be accompanied. We want to be loved. We want to be accepted. We want to be、uh, included. But this could also be the daily weakness to a lot of us, because a lot of us are just not strong and secure enough to work alone, to walk alone. So they would rather, you know, sacrifice so much meaningful things. To be just included by friends or some kind of groups, but I'm the opposite. I always chose to do everything on my own. If there's no friends that want to do the same thing with me, just like running in the morning, I I didn't have any kind of running teammates before. I came back to my hometown. I was in the United States. I was always just running by myself because I didn't have any friends in college who also run. Everybody stays until like eight nine a.m. and nobody would go out run in the dark. But I still did it because I know I, what I wanted. I had the courage to be alone. But yeah, as I said, sometimes. I just do feel so lonely. I feel that I just want to talk to somebody, but thank God that I can talk to the camera, and I can talk to myself, and I can totally just understand myself. When I express myself, I just feel so much better, and. Even better, I could share with everybody. You know, as long as you got the patience and you got the interest in me, and you're willing to spend this time to watch and listen to me. So every time I record my video, is I want to try to document my real emotions and share with people and give some hope. And I want to accompany somebody who is just like me, walking on his own or her own journey. You might feel very lonely, but it is okay. You can survive. Don't overthink. And it is okay to be unproductive, just like me. I would have days like this. That I feel stuck. I know I should be doing something else, but I just feel like I've been productive every day, and sometimes I just want to relax. I do not want to like work, 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 nonstop working. What's this for? Right? I want to have life. I want to take care of my mental health before. I do any kind of passion. Does that make sense? Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go for a ride just by myself, and I'm just have to say thanks to a lot of things, to this freedom, to this privilege that I got this free time, freedom to do whatever, however I want to allocate my time and. Energy. I got this freedom. This is not something that everybody has, but I do want to remind people who might feel jealous or envious of something that they do not have, and others have. No, you are thinking the whole thing wrong. You should focus on things you do have that a lot of people don't have. Whatever that might be, you have to talk to yourself about that. Instead of thinking what you don't have and others have, and you feel jealous and envious and never satisfied with your life, that is the wrong mentality. You're wasting your blessings. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped. Yeah. Stay strong. Stay positive. Life is great. It's gonna be alright. 